Hi, my name is Rebecca Loibel. I'm a second year master's student in mechanical engineering. My concentration area for research is energy systems. I came to Binghamton in my junior year, so I started out at Broome Community College and then transferred over in a special transfer program called Binghamton Advantage. Once I came to Binghamton as a junior, I got involved as an undergrad research assistant. So I was interested in sustainable energy and renewable energy, all these topics. I reached out to a professor in mechanical engineering. For two years as a junior and senior here, I worked as part of his research team and assisted a PhD student running experiments, designing components for his research. And that's kind of where I sparked my interest to do a master's degree. After finishing my undergraduate degree here in 2018, I decided to stay and continue on with a master's degree with research. The reason I decided to stay at Binghamton was because First and foremost, there was a lot of funding opportunities for master's students doing research versus a lot of other schools didn't have this opportunity. So within our department, I was able to first get a teaching assistantship, which was a big help to be able to fund a master's degree. And then second, I was also able to get a second scholarship that was a National Science Foundation entrepreneurship scholarship. So as part of the scholarship, I was able to take a class in entrepreneurship and it opened up a whole another realm of interesting opportunities. Lastly, another reason I decided to stay here was just the flexibility and being able to choose my own research topic. In this department, it's pretty small, so there's a lot of flexibility in being able to choose the path that you want to take as a student and doing the research that you want to do. My research topic is studying basically the efficiency of heating and cooling of buildings. So what we're trying to do is use kind of a sustainable alternative cooling system. So it's called adsorption cooling and it's a very simple system that doesn't require any moving parts. It doesn't require any uh, refrigerants like R134A or Freon, which are toxic to the environment. With this system, we can use just two simple non-toxic materials and the interaction between them, we can create a cooling effect. We are studying this cooling effect and how we can enhance it and make it better with a higher efficiency so that it can compete with traditional refrigeration techniques that are on the market right now. For this project, I've had the opportunity to work with a startup company locally at the Kaufman Center in Binghamton called Ethos Gen. They are designing a novel kind of HVAC system for building heating and cooling and they're trying to optimize based off cost, efficiency, and the feasibility of the system. Here in the graduate department, there's definitely a very diverse population internationally of grad students. As an undergrad, I collaborated with several different international students coming from completely different educational backgrounds. Everyone kind of had a different type of skill to offer to the team. So having these diverse backgrounds coming together creates more robust solutions and it just creates a better environment for brainstorming and coming up with solutions for the problems we're facing today.